All right. At least, you, at least you know, you know, the first step to solving a problem is to admit it. Yeah. At least I can admit it. Um, <laughs> so, moving on to our next topic at hand. The Game Awards has been announced. The date has been set December 6th um, at 5.30 p.m. PST is when it officially starts. I believe 6. I think 5.30 is like the pregame. So, um, but it's happening, and it's for those who might have saw last year, um, we all got very excited. At least I did for uh, multiple games. And with that... Uh, as you see the video behind us, uh, as Chef Gilly is naming some of the nominees, and I don't think, I think I get through most of them in this 10 minutes. Um, but uh, the nominees have been announced. I'll quickly go, I'll quickly go over them real quick. Um, and quickly go over them real quick. Yes. I'll do one category. You give me gut reaction, Greg, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, let's start very top, game of the year. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Celeste, God of War, Marvel Spider-Man, Monster Hunter World, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, so the ones on there that'll probably be on everyone's like checklist of Game of the Year situation is Red Dead Redemption 2, Spider-Man, and God of War. Um, it's really, really hard to put this list together because all the games on the list are stellar. They're all really fucking good. But like, how do you compare a game like Red Dead Redemption with Celeste? How do you do that? How do you, how do you make those two kind of compete it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me because they're two so drastically different games absolutely that it, it's really hard to do that but but if i have to choose one of the six that i think deserves game of the year it's it's gonna be between god of war and spider-man i love red dead it's hilarious it's it's addicting but the the biggest pro the biggest problem is like, um, it's super short. Uh, they did build the game for like casual audiences too. It's so it's just a tough fucking choice, man. It it's is, just a tough pick. Is. There are some. It, and if I say Spider Man, I sound. If I say Spider Man, I sound biased. If I say God of War, like what does that say about me? I mean, it's it's a really tough. It's a really really tough category, and I do not fault anybody for trying to look for small things that are different from one another from one game to another it's that's why game of the year discussions are like when it comes to gaming outlets are very very hard to do <laughs> so i mean don't get me wrong all the games on the list deserve game of the year including absolutely. monster hunter world i had a really hard time getting into monster hunter world but it is you know it's a really well polished game mm -hmm. um i think the only game on the list what was the first game you said uh first game was assassin's creed Assassin's Creed. I that that one doesn't really. I, I wouldn't really put that on the list because the best way to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey is to pretend it's not an Assassin's Creed game. Right. Right. Um, okay. Because of the way that's built, like people. I've watched people sneak up behind people and they're like stab them to kill them and they don't die because they have health bars now and shit and it's just it's ridiculous. But um, I definitely don't think like that's the only game on the list I don't think deserves to win. Okay. Uh, but I, but I think if I had to choose, if I honestly had to choose Anthony, I'd want, I'd want Spider-Man. Gotcha. All right. I'm just going. I just want your, your gut reaction. I don't need. I mean, I, I guess I said like you know. No. Was, that was only, that was only for game of the year. That okay. Was okay. I was about to say like <laughs> we got all the categories to go through. So, all right. <laughs> Best ongoing game: Destiny 2, Fortnite, No Man's Sky, Overwatch, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Fortnite. Okay. Best... I, have, I have reasons, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Best Game Direction. A Way Out. Fuck the Oscars. Uh, Detroit Become Human. God of War. Marvel Spider-Man. Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, God of War. All right. Best Narrative. Detroit Become Human. God of War. Life is Strange 2 Episode 1. Marvel Spider-Man. Red Dead Redemption 2. Best Narrative? Yes. God of War. Best Art Direction, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, God of War, Octopath Traveler, Red Dead Redemption 2, Return of, uh, o oh, Oberdin? Return, okay, um, I don't want to give it to God of War, I mean, there are a lot of moments where it's really pretty, I'd say Best Art Direction goes to Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, they made that fucking world look real, so, okay. I would, I would give it to God of War. That works fucking fantastic looking. Um, 
Best score music what? presented Spring. by Spotify. Uh, or no, I just, <laughs> <laughs> hey Spotify, hey. Um, <laughs> Celeste, God of War, Marvel Spider-Man, Nino Kuni 2, August Black Traveler, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, Celeste, I feel like the only reason I'm saying Celeste versus the other ones is that Celeste is more of um, like hand-drawn artistic. Like it's more of a, and there's a different style into it. So I'd rather have that win than the other ones. For best score? Oh, this is score. Yeah, Sorry, music. This is for art. No, 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 it's for music. Uh, read them off again for music? Uh, Celeste. God of War, Marvel Spider-Man, Nino Kino 2, Octopop Traveler, Red Dead Redemption 2. It's between Celeste and Octopath Traveler. Uh, and I'll go with Celeste. It has some very, very, very powerful music. Okay. Best audio design. Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Horizon Horizon 4, God of War, Marvel Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption 2. It's between Forza and uh, the first game you said. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. I'll give it to Forza on this one because you can actually like hear gifts or uh, gears shifting and whatnot. Like they had a mic inside the fucking car. Bullshit was going on. Like it's it's really well done. Like Black Ops has, is good, but but okay. Forza kind of has a little bit of an edge on that. So gotcha. Best performance: Brian Dechern as Connor from Detroit Become Human. Christopher Judge as Kratos, God of War. Masati Mahant as Cassandra from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Roger Clark as Arthur Morgan from Red uh, Dead Redemption 2. Yuri Luthrell as Peter Parker, Marvel Spider-Man. So it's between your, uh, you know, I'm going to give it to Yuri. Uh, <laughs> three of them, three of them are stoic. They don't really have a whole lot of motion and range. Sorry, Kratos and Arthur Morgan are like fucking statues. Yeah, they are. <laughs> the same. Yeah, so. yeah. Boy. Uh, like, they did a good job, but... Yeah. Um, games for impact. Oh, actually, now you, I could probably skip this. Like, this is like for... These, these actually, it's a pretty cool category. Like, these games are being actually judged by... Um, developer uh directors and developers from other game publishers on these games as well as being voted upon but like it's basically like these small uh games being developed by students that they get to have their work judged by like Hadoguchima and other people like that so i think that's really cool but like i can't really i can't really give it a that uh that uh category for you to to guess on uh here we go best independent game celeste dead cells into the breach Return of Obra Din, the Messenger. God fucking Christ! I know, uh, right? <laughs> it's honestly between Dead Cells and Celeste. I don't want. Like, I feel like if I say Dead Cells, <laughs> we're biased because we. I'm gonna the give game. it to. Ce I, I'm gonna give it to Celeste because Celeste has a message. Okay. Celeste has a uh, message to people who finish it, and that's why there's an easy mode where you cannot die. Gotcha. Um, but we get into that differently. Yeah. Dead, uh, Dead Cells for me. I love the hell of that game. Uh, best mobile game. Donut County. Florence. Fortnite. PUBG Mobile. Reigns. Game of Thrones. Uh, Donut County. All right. Best VR AR game. Astrobot. Beat Saber. Firewall Zero Hour. Moss. Tetris Effect. Uh, Beat Saber. Okay. Right, I leave some bounds, Beat Saber. Best action game. Call of Duty 4. Or Call of Duty Block Ops 4. Sorry. Dead Cells. Okay. Destiny 2. Uh, Forsaken. Far Cry 5. Mega Man 11. Oh, man. I know, it's a tough one. I'm going to say Block Ops 4. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's a weird burp. Um, <laughs> best action adventure game. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, God of War, Marvel Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption 2, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, Spider-Man. Best role-playing game. Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of the Elusive Age, Monster Hunter World, Nuni Kuni 2, Octopath Traveler, Pillars of Eternity 2. Uh, Monster Hunter World. I think I'll have one. Best fighting game. 
Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, Dragon Ball Fighters, Soul Calibur 6, Street Fighter 5 Arcade Edition. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Best Family Game, Mario Tennis Aces, Nintendo Labo, Overcooked 2, Starling Battle for Atlas, Super Mario Party. What was the first one you said? Mario Tennis Aces. Mario Tennis Aces. Uh, I'm going to say it's between Super Mario Party and Labo. But because Labo is so much more expensive, I'll, I'll go with Mario Party. Okay. Also, for those listening, yes, we're going a bit over overtime, so don't worry. That's fine. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm not. I'm not it's going to be real short. It's going to be real short. Don't worry about yeah. it. Best strategy game, uh, Battletech, Frostpunk, Into the Breach, The Banner Saga 3, Volcaria Chronicles 4. I don't really know. Um, I'll go basically off of what, who, who, what I saw Burke Black play more of, and that was... The Frost one, <laughs> Frost Punk is really good. I would also, yeah. I would also put Into the Breach. That game is also really good. So, uh, do you want to do this one? Best sports racing game? I don't know. I kind of. Uh, I I don't know anything about those. So the only ones I can probably like throw at you is like Mario Tennis Aces and Forza Horizon Four. Other than that, it's also sports like NBA and FIFA and Pro Evolution. So. I feel like Forza is going to win it anyway. <laughs> I, I wouldn't doubt Forza it. Forza or FIFA. Forza or FIFA. One of those two. Best multiplayer game. Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Destiny 2 Forsaken, Fortnite, Monster Hunter World, Sea of Thieves. I, I feel like Fortnite's going to win it, but I would, I would rather have... Uh, Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm still. I'm, oh. Yeah. No, I'm just going. That was, that was the end of my thought. That oh, was my okay. Thought. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting this long winded response. All right. <laughs> All right. Best debut indie game Donut County, Florence, Moss, The Messenger, uh, Yoku's Island Express. Oh, God. <laughs> I got to give it to Yoku. It's such a good game if you haven't played it. I have not. I should definitely. It's 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 short. It's only four hours, but man, is it fun! Mm. I mean, if you if you give it to me, you know, I could you know just play it on stream. All right, right. just <laughs> fucking do the next one. <laughs> um, okay. Best esports game: CS CS:GO, Dota 2, Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch. So, Overwatch League. Because it's so far the only one that's made it to TV. Like, and I'm talking about beyond fucking just ESPN. Uh, but also, um, and I'll talk about this in the Overwatch minute, it actually got people to want to play Overwatch again. So, that's true. There was a huge dip once it ended, a huge dip in player interaction once it ended. So, <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. Best esports player uh, Dominique Sonic Fox McLean. Ha. Uh, I'll just say Tokido. I can't, can't pronounce his, his Japanese name. <laughs> um, U- Uzi. Uh, I do not know who the person is. Uh, simple. And okay, yeah. So we're definitely getting into like some other names that I do not recognize. Sonic Fox, man. Yeah, just Sonic Fox. Yeah, I'm word. just doing Sonic Fox. Yeah. If you if you li- if you listen to the show live, our <laughs> fucking uh, beginning stuff was all about him, mostly anyway. Yep. Um, I'm gonna skip this just because I feel like you wouldn't quite as known. Maybe the only team you would recognize that is is London Spitfire, but like it's it's categorized for best esports team. So and they range from like CS:GO to League of Legends to Dota 2. So I feel like you wouldn't be able to do this one. So we'll skip it. Uh, we'll skip this one too. Best esports coach. We'll skip that. Yeah. Best esports event. Uh. E League Major uh, Boston 2018, Evo 2018, League of Legends World Championships, the Overwatch League Grand Finals, the International 2018. Uh, Evo. Evo puts on a better show. They fill out the entire fucking Vegas like convention center. Yeah. Which is enormous. So and it, everyone. It, it is definitely the easiest. Play fighting games to enjoy watching it. So. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the easiest one out of the out of that group to follow if you're not. If you don't know what's with the ins and outs, 
it's pretty simple to understand. You just watch the last day and just watch all the best of the best go at it. So absolutely. Uh, we'll skip this one. Ah, here we go. Best esports moment. C9 comeback win in a triple overtime versus FaZe in E-League. KT versus IG base race in League of Legends. I mean, in the, yeah, in League of Legends Worlds. G2 beating RNG, League of, League of Legends Worlds. OG's massive upset uh, of uh, uh, beating OGD in Dota 2 Finals. And Sonic Fox side switch against Goichi and Dragon Ball Fighters at, at EVO. I'm going to go with, like, I don't know, Twitter interaction with that one. <laughs> yeah. It's Sonic Fox going side switching with Goichi. Like that was huge. It, I would, like, I would, I'd be very curious to see what how Sonic Fox would react because he was, he was on the side of like he did not intend that to happen in terms of like how long it would take, and like down. Well, sure. Yeah, and like he, like I'm he, not putting that on him, but yeah. it was it was unprecedented. So he, that's why. He, absolutely. That's why it's big. Absolutely. Um, do you want to take Tagos one content creator of the year? I mean, I'm, I'm like the only person I can. Uh, yeah, let me. I, I want to hear. I want to hear who they are. Okay, Doctor Lupo, Myth, Ninja, uh, Pokemane, and Willie Willie Rex. Uh, Pokemane. Uh, I think she's her her uh, uh, Twitch interaction, her entertainment, the variety of what she does when she streams is much bigger than a lot of those guys. Uh, Dr. Lupo is a close second. I don't think Ninja should win it at all, um, even though he mo most likely will. Um, he, uh, he doesn't do anything. He, like, does chats where he talks to people, bitches about things, and then he plays fucking Fortnite. <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah. But, like, Pokemon, she does ASMR. She does... All sorts of streams, like yeah, she does play a lot of Fortnite, but like she's not—that's not, that's all what she's known for. Um, so like, I don't know. I, I think she's way more entertaining than everyone else on that list. All right, and those are your quick pick uh, predictions from Greg on the uh, nominees for this year's Game Awards. All right, so where is it? All right. Now, Greg, reminder, you have to be quiet. 